Hello and welcome to our channel DCX Learn. In this video, we will cover the different types of blockchains and their varying characteristics. The idea of blockchain came into existence when Bitcoin was launched with a desire to have a completely decentralized electronic cash system. A decentralized cash system would allow its users to transfer money without the need for any financial institution. This decentralized nature of Bitcoin led many companies into exploring blockchain technology for their respective industries. Today, beyond finance, blockchain technology is used in the field of marketing, supply chain, logistics and much more. Blockchains have been classified in three types. 1. Permissionless or public blockchains. 2. Permissioned or private blockchains. And 3. Hybrid blockchains. Public blockchains are decentralized platforms that allow anyone to be a part of the network and validate transactions on it. The network participants validate transactions in return for rewards. These rewards could be transaction fees or the cryptocurrency of that network. This is a common example of cryptocurrencies on public blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Zcash. Public blockchains are also more decentralized and therefore provide greater security than their counterparts, centralized ledgers. Let's take an example. A transaction on Bitcoin's publicly viewed ledger is validated by thousands of nodes. A bank's centralized ledger is validated by a few limited parties. This makes the data tremendously more secure on the blockchain. It also increases the transaction time. Private blockchains have an access control layer built into its blockchain nodes. The access could vary from reading and writing to making changes on the blockchain. Listeners, please note that only the participants in this network are given the authority to provide consensus to the network. Let's take an example. A group of 30 banks work together as part of a consortium or federated blockchain. This consortium of banks could have features ranging from distributed consensus to instant money transfer amongst the banks. The company can determine who provides consensus to the blockchain network and who can view the data on the blockchain. Public and private blockchains have their merits and demerits. A hybrid blockchain thus is focused on getting the best of both worlds. A hybrid blockchain is created based on various business requirements and is customized to industry needs. This blockchain is suitable for companies that want to maintain different levels of privacy in their operations, departments and ledgers. Considering the example of banks, it is possible that the banks may be required to keep the ledgers publicly readable, but the customers may demand privacy and control of sharing the data of their accounts or wallets. A hybrid blockchain solves this problem. So, we discussed all the three types of blockchains, their characteristics and limitations regarding privacy, immutability and storage. Which one is the best? There is no particular answer to this question, as each type has its own advantages and disadvantages. Which one do you think is the best? Do let us know in the comment section below. Well, that's a wrap to this edition of DCX Learn Originals. Like our video and share it with your friends. Make sure you click the subscribe button so that you can watch more of such exciting videos in the future. Until next time, happy learning.